Hello everyone. The topic we covered today osteoporosis. The osteoporosis it is very important disease condition under the medical surgical nursing and also it is very one of the most common question they are asking for final examination for GNM students as well as BSc nursing students. So here we can discuss about what is osteoporosis. The osteoporosis it is the most common disease condition in India that is 10 more than 10 million cases per year. So here we can see what is the osteoporosis. The osteoporosis it is a metabolic skeletal disease that is characterized by low bone density and micro architecture deterioration of bone tissue which result in increased bone, uh, bone fragility to susceptible to fracture that is called osteoporosis. So here we can discuss about what are the main causes and etiology of osteoporosis. There are two main etiology are there. First one idiopathic age related osteoporosis and second one the osteoporosis is secondary disease stats. The first one is the idiopathic age related osteoporosis that means the mostly uh, the osteoporosis occur for young adult and uh, menopausal woman. So these are the two uh, risk factor coming under the idiopathic age related osteoporosis. And second one is the osteoporosis that is related to the secondary diseases. The diseases such as uh, any metabolic diseases example for the metabolic diseases vitamin D deficiency, scurvy, malnutrition and uh, uh, calcium deficiency these are the metabolic diseases. These people have the high risk of the osteoporosis. And second one is the any endocrine diseases. The endocrine disease such as uh, hyperparathyroidism and next one is the renal diseases and bone infiltrations and drug that is prolonged use of corticosteroid and also uh, hormone, uh, thyroid hormone drugs. And lifestyle also one of the important factor. The lifestyle means the uh, those who are in is the immobility or there is no physical activity, and uh, who are consumption of alcohol, cigarette smoking, and excessive intake of caffeine. These are all the risk of the osteoporosis. So next we can discuss about the pathophysiology. As you know the pathophysiology, we are going to start. The, just now we are cleared the all the risk factors and etiologies. These all the etiological factor lead, uh, leads to reduce the bone mass or decrease the bone mass that will leads to the fragility of bone. The fr bone fragility will leads to uh, high chances to fracture. So that is osteoporosis. So next we can discuss about the clinical manifestation. So clinical manifestation here we can discuss this osteoporosis also known as silent disease because many years there is a no uh, signs and symptoms will not develop because of uh, there is a uh, actually, uh, we know that uh, the osteoporosis has a silent disease why we are asking because there is a no symptoms for uh, many several years and also other symptoms are back pain and reduce the a height and also collapse the vertebra these are the other symptoms of the osteoporosis. Next we can discuss about the diagnostic evaluation. The diagnostic evaluation uh, you can see history collection, physical examination, radiography, ultrasonography these all are the important uh, uh, diagnostic evaluation for the osteoporosis. The, after the diagnostic evaluation uh, we should start the treatment. For that here management the aim of the management prevent the risk of or further complication and treat the uh, osteoporosis. Here you can treat under the pharmacological management calcitonin and uh, uh, hormonal replacement therapy and also calcium supplement vitamin D supplement we can provide to the patient. So if the uh, if surgery is necessary any fracture are occur so we can go for the surgical management also.
and how we can prevent the osteoporosis that means uh, we have to uh, encourage the patients to otherwise in from the childhood or the adolescent time more intake in calcium and vitamin d and regular exercise and avoid the alcohol smoking and uh, drugs uh, that are most consume long term use of the corticosteroids and all and this all the will be can preventive measures so under the nursing management we can see that assess the patient condition and uh, provide the medication as per the physician order provide psychological support and encourage the patient to uh, do their daily activities and encourage the physical activities and uh, uh, give the health education to the patient about Uh, nutritional benefits that is we have to daily intake of the calcium and vitamin d uh, rich food and and also uh, we should uh, provide the uh, education to the family members so these are all for today so today we discuss about the osteoporosis the osteoporosis it is the uh, low density of bone that will leads to uh, fragil uh, fragility of bone and that will chances to get the fracture So hope you all understand the topic. Ah, uh, thank you for watching this video. This is Nisha signing off. Next we'll meet the ah uh, next video. Thank you.